Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, in the last part, we took care of the Battle of Hoth, so in this part we're going to handle the liberation of Cloud City. The Empire has left behind many troops to keep control of Cloud City. We must enter the city and remove the Imperial Presence. Okay, there's only a minor Imperial garrison on Cloud City. Now's the time to take it and get the Tabana Mines. Excellent spots for marksmen. Wikis are strong allies. Blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, this will be post-commentary because uh, this level gave me a lot of trouble for some reason. Yes. I've never gotten in trouble from this level before. But now, it just didn't want to cooperate. Like, I wasn't getting torn up by the enemies or anything. Stupid AI allies were not doing anything. They were being absolute idiots. They were standing there. They would stand right outside an enemy command post, shoot at them, kill them, and not move in and try to capture the thing. Just stand there and wait for the enemy to respawn. So that didn't help. Plus, every time would push out, grab a command post, and they would immediately lose one for our side, so... That was not fun. But, anyways, yeah, my main strategy for this... Start up here. Actually, I went through a ton of strategies before... I went back to the... Back to the one I usually use, which is capture these... Upper level command posts. And obviously it ended up working, which is why you're seeing it. Anyways, yeah, the strategy is first spawn as a vanguard, so you got the rocket launcher to take care of the swarm of enemies that pulls out from that command post. So clear the way, then just walk in and take it. And this is a good spot to stand because you can see all the spawn points in the command post, so they can't spawn behind you and tear you to shreds before you can even turn around. So very us useful. So yeah, just capture all the command posts up here. If you're lucky, you'll be able to, you, if you, like, check the map to make sure your side's not getting overrun anywhere else. If they are, quickly try to respawn there and hold it, because if you get them down to that one command post in the courtyard in the middle, they're probably not going to be able to push out to anything at all, and that's basically how you win this. Back me up, right away. So yeah, Let's go. if I can capture this thing without losing anything else, we'll be in good shape. So yeah, um, also good Let's idea go. again, get these computers going with you, actually that's a good idea on all levels, and I totally fail with that thermal detonator, anyways yeah, cause like I said, they'll sometimes just stand there right outside a command post and not bother to go in and capture it, so it's a good idea to try to get them to follow you, so yeah, I like to stand near the health droid and trying to take this. Gives you a bit of shielding, plus you heal if Back me up. you get fired on, so it's post. useful. Okay, so yeah. And basically here I'm gonna check the map in a moment. Check the map. Good idea after you... Follow if you me. get them down, so it's 5 to 1, check the Follow map to make me. sure they're not pushing out against anywhere. And if they are, book it over there and try to defend it. Because if you can hold off that push, and I'm going to respawn here, which is something I don't normally do. But I want to make sure they don't take that one rear entrance command post, because that is probably the one they have the best chance of taking. Like This is the one that would, they would always push out and take while I was trying to capture those command posts on the upper level, and it would totally screw me. Because from there, they just like waltz into the carbon freezing chamber, and your allies will like just stand there and let them go ahead and take it, so... Yeah. Just trying to thin out these stormtroopers and whatnot. Um, yeah. Also, uh, I went and saw Planet of the Apes, like I think I said I wanted to see a few parts ago. So yeah, I thought it was really good. I liked it a lot. Um, probably give it like four out of five stars, maybe four and a half, depending on my mood, but, um, 
Yeah, I thought it was good. Did have a bunch of references to the old series. I didn't know about all of them or recognize them for what they were, but some of them were pretty obvious. Like, I've only seen, like I said, the original I've seen once and the remake I've seen once, and that's pretty much it. And I don't think it really had any Let's references right to away. the remake, so... Yeah, and I really don't remember half the crap that happened in the original, so it was more people telling me about references it made than me actually noticing most of them. So yeah. I'd definitely say go and see that, if, especially if you're into that kind of stuff. Yeah, so here, push them back out so they're pretty much just surrounded in the courtyard so yeah just like to hold that one walkway up there fire down because they basically have no covering you can just take a few steps back and they can't hit you anymore so that's kind of high, how the high ground helps out and uh, I went the wrong way here so yeah, anyways just definitely a good place to hold out and I'm not gonna get killed by that dark trooper, no way. That was really him that was hitting me from that far away and took off that much health. That's just a further testament to how ridiculously broken the range is of those shotguns in this game. Back me up. Okay, so yeah. Battle kinda winding down here. Incoming! If you're good at sniping, I'm not at all. It'd definitely be a, this is definitely a great sniping level. Just pretty much anywhere on these walkways is a good sniping location, so definitely if you're good at sniping, control the upper level and you will just be able to do pretty much whatever you please. Not the rest of them. Victory is imminent. Yeah. Also, make sure you target the guys in the turrets because your allies are too stupid to headshot them. So they can just tear your teammates to shreds if you don't do something about them. So yeah. And do, do, do. But yeah, this level really made me regret doing this on hard because your computer ally just seem to be complete idiots on hard. No, well, they're idiots to begin with, but so are the enemies, but they're actually pretty dang accurate on hard, so it gets a little more problematic, especially with your allies being as stupid and inaccurate as they are on Let's go. Yeah, it's not unwinnable, obviously. Hold up. Just, can just be really annoying, and there's some luck involved with. Cause you can't be like two or three places at once. If they start getting overrun, maybe you can hold two if you're good, but you really have to just get a little lucky and hope they don't give up a command post within five seconds. Go, go, go. Let's go. And there's someone over here. I think that's why I'm going over here. Just. And this battle's over. It doesn't really matter even if they capture it, but I want Follow as many me. kills as possible. Something. And hearing that, I thought, wait, that's not one of my teammates talking. That's a uh, stormtrooper, and there he is. And I'm not going to get killed by this guy. No freaking way. Okay, so yeah. Battle winding down, just to find the last few stormtroopers and kill them. Or heal up, that works too. And I was like, ah, who cares? Back me up. And this thing's pretty right much away. finished. We've captured a command post. Right away, I was like, what? A few guys left, actually. No, that's my guy. Genius. Come on. There he is, he's dead. Two, one, yay! Oh, I wasn't in the air when we won. Darn it. Yeah, I didn't even show off the f carbon freezing chamber. 
and this run through whatever I didn't need to. It's always a good thing if you don't need to go to the carbon freezing chambers, the rebels. That's a good thing. Gosh, dang! Some of my teammates sucked. Zero and zero, dude. You're pro. Wow. Anyways, yeah. What we get? Killing spree, public enemy, and dead eye. Hooray. Okay, yeah, anyways, um, that's the end of this part. In the next part, we'll handle the battle on the clouds, so see you guys then.